if you take a look at the center, the actual control room itself is just two giant screens. Yeah. I like to think it's two people playing Hearthstone against each other. It could be, but screen watching, you just have to glance back over your shoulder and promise them that you're not cheating. Best esports stadium ever. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Control point unlocking in 30 seconds, and we have tracers uh, zipping their way through to the point. Uh, interestingly, we have double tracer on the side, uh, on one side, which is uh, Melty, and we have no tracers on the other side. So we'll see if SG1's composition featuring Fraggy on Zarya and Zappis again on Soldier 76 ends up proving the better composition in terms of longevity overall. And Flippy, as who I'm watching right now, actually just doing a ton of damage into the back line. However, it looks like Melty did get... Or no, SG1. Actually, I've got to update my colors here as we did switch once we went to the lobby. So the overlay is correct now. Flippy uh, getting a lot of damage on the side of Melty, but SG1 is going to claim the point. Ouch. And uh, yeah, a, a couple of heroes that are just a little bit more fragile. I mean, we had... Um... We had two tracers and a Lucio on the side of uh, on the side of Melty, so it meant that as soon as one or two heroes went down, all of a sudden the rest of the fight did not look particularly pretty. We can see them switching off now. Flippy is on Soldier 76, Bored as well is on uh, Zarya, and does that actually make this a mirror composition now? No, I think it does. Oh yeah, actually it does. <laughs> no, oh, no, no, Mercy Munel versus Winston. Back to Winston. Mercy so. versus Winston is the difference here. Moonel is actually about to die. Flippy did already die. Bod goes down. Uh, no mercy for bod this time around playing that Zarya. Lazy, however, still still on Mercy, does have res available, and SG1 looks firmly in control as we start out here on Li Jing. 41% already in their uh, favor, and Nico just waiting for his team to return. No point in sinking into damage if they're just going to heal it up and build more ult, anything like that. I prefer SG1's composition here for one big reason. On this control point, in the actual room itself, there's so much fantastic room for aerial dominance that Mafu is going to be able to go completely unopposed on Farah. I'm a little bit disappointed that we switched off of Farah on the side of uh, they, on the side uh, Deacon of still has it. Oh, d oh no, pardon me. I swear Deacon switched off of uh, Farah and now he switched back on. I promise that wasn't my imagination. <laughs> but Moth has done such a good job of just staying on top of the control room though. I haven't seen Deacon flying around the control room at all. Have you just He's been dying. He's been dying pretty frequently. Um, I think it uh, has to do with not having a Mercy because a Farah is never going to be a Farah with a Mercy tail. That's essentially just how it is. You have to land so many more direct rockets or even you know splash damage at all. Uh, whereas the if, if the other Pharah has damage amp, they only have to really hit you with one or two, you know, splash damage direct hits. I think one of it's a headshot, right? There's no headshot for rockets. Like, uh, no, I'm uh, sorry, um, one if it's damage amp, I think, isn't it? No, it's uh, it's 120 plus 30 percent, so it's not quite enough, not fatal. Alright, Visor is active for Flippy. He's down to 13 health very quickly, though. Zap is doing a good job picking him off. Lazy escapes with just barely any HP on Mercy, and SG1 will uh, retain the point here at 80%. Melty getting that 34% on the board, but now starting to fall. Bod gets uh, killed there, and they are going to have to wait for him to recharge as he is at full ultimate right now. Graviton Surge could be their way in, could open the door, but only 90% uh, on the side of SG1 means that they've got to move quickly. I'm going to watch Bod just for that all-important Graviton Surge, see how it goes. Yeah, it's a bit awkward. Uh there's just so much in the way of damage being done right now that it's very difficult, especially with Mercy available to res. We're waiting for Lazy. There goes Lazy, and all of a sudden, uh, we have Sato with his ultimate at all. And uh, yes, okay, Mercy goes down, but what a fantastic way to bring everybody else back into the fight there. Fraggy, Mafu with uh, Rocket Barrage available as well. Zap is Himzi on fire, and Sata, having just used his ultimate, isn't going to have one available for a while. But they are completely on top of the point. Nobody is stopping Mafu right now, and it's 99%. Overtime will tick down, and that's going to allow SG1 to take point number one. All right. Control room goes to SG1. They're up three to zero in the series score. And I was looking obviously through the team pages and stuff like that before the match just to reacquaint myself. It's been a while since I cast Melty or SG1, but I, I gotta say results wise, Melty had a few uh, top four finishes in the last month, while SG1 only really had a few top eight finishes. Fifth or eighth was kind of their top marks uh, in Correct. June I, competition. I think going into this, uh, going into this King of the Watch match. Um, I think most people would have sided with Melty as being the favorites, myself included. So the fact that SG1 are stood here 3-0 up and they've won the first point in a best of three King of the Hill, uh, making this particular point one for all the marbles, that's 
That's incredible stuff from them. Uh, D-Gun tries to launch some members off the side, but Cabal is actually going to be the first one to fall on the side of Melty. Uh, here we go, just shooting some rockets into that thick thick red mass on the other side. Baud trying to heal and damage amp as appropriate. They have at least got the Fair and Mercy combo going this time around as they did not on the uh, control room. But SG-1 again, wiping up. So D-Gun potentially looking to get damage damp and try, try and do a little bit of the damage they weren't quite able to do on the previous point. It looks like they're going to be going around the back. Now that's going to be quite good, but I want to see where D-Gun is actually going to be coming in to engage because there's a little bit less aerial room here for him to maneuver around as far. So he's going to have to be a little bit more clever with how he engages. And it looks like he is going back the quote-unquote traditional route, going up around the side, trying to get Mafu, looking for Zappis, will get him. Mafu, though, does get away. Now Fraggy is contesting the control oh, yeah. alongside D-Gun should be able to get the pickoff from up above. He does indeed. Rocket Barrage is available. He shouldn't be using that at the moment, though. Just one or two in there. Yeah, now that Melty has uh, sort of cleared out the enemy, they need to move on to the point. Here they finally do. Hemzy goes down, and suddenly only Sita is left. He's going to try and book it out of there. And Lucy, of course, with wall right and speed boost, is able to actually do that. Uh, good moves there from Sita to stay alive. But now uh, SG-1 on the back foot kind of for the first time as they had full control in that first round. Massive difference as soon as you actually got Mercy Fire combination there. You called it absolutely right, Joshi. And all of a sudden, D-Gun looks like a completely different player to previously. Let's take a look at him. He trying to move through the back, looking for an opportunity to use his ultimate. Won't get it. Uh, we had a rocket barrage. It didn't kill anyone. Here we go. Here comes the Death Blossom. Patiently waiting. Only manages to get bored, but bored is Mercy. Um, so he will be able to get a couple of inroads and almost, and does take the point. He almost single-handedly took that. Yeah, oh, I just switched to Ferris Corpse falling to the bottom of the fish uh, fish tank here <laughs> below the point. Um, I swapped to him just to see. Tonight. That was actually pretty funny. Yeah, <laughs> I've never actually done that, I think, uh, while casting. But here we go, SG-1 reclaiming the point. You're right, Himsey, uh just carrying all the DPS here again. And I got to say that barrage from D-Gun, he had the right intention, but popped the ult just a little too early. The barrage didn't catch anyone. They had enough time to back up into the hallway, and everything went south from there. There's the beat drop from Cabal to try and keep them alive, but the barrage directly into their face. And Nico with the die, die, die means that uh, Melty is going to fall and SG-1 both but the reses come in now. Graviton Surge for the side of Melty catches several members of SG-1. Himsy trying to go in there with his own Death Blossom. Gets a couple of kills. Moonel in a low health falls to Mafu with the follow-up. D-Gun uh, and Flippy look like they will be able to force Mafu out and probably flip the point. Yes, D-Gun with that direct shot right in the face uh, will flip it back for Melty. Oh man, and this this is to stay in the uh, to stay in the show match basically. 3-0 down and 1 out of 3 down on the last best of three. Um, Joshi, I, I might have given the ultimate cast a curse by saying tonight's match is definitely not going to be a 4-0. I, really uh, I really need someone to help prove me right here. <laughs> well, it's going to be D-Gun and crew, if anybody, and D-Gun just fell uh, during his barrage once again. <laughs> Got to work on that balance, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, holding on to the point so far is Melty see a lot of effort uh, is being made right now to go ahead and move in. Fraggy doing a great job of consistently dealing damage to Zarya, but down to 37 hit points, finally going down to Flippy. And uh, we will have a successful hold with three ultimates available now on the side of Melty. We have Flippy, Bored, and Cabal all looking to use their ultimates at some opportune moment. Yeah, so I'll actually watch the attacking team coming in here. Froggy's almost got Graviton Surge prepared. We'll have it mm -hmm. for sure in this next battle. Um, so we'll see if the money Graviton Surge can hit or not. If not, SG-1 is likely going to take this round. Or actually, sorry, if it is, then, uh, then they will. Uh, I got a couple of, oh, oh god, look, so much. When I say look at Himsey, what I actually meant is look at Nico. No, nah, they're Reaper, they're more or less all look the same. And that was two, three very, very quick kills. Tactical Visor is not going to save Zappis there. Oh, and a shot to the back of the head there on Lazy takes out Mercy as well. This is a really good hold so far, I have to say. No, the uh, res on Himsey though brings in the Death Blossom immediately. He was one step away from the point and able to contest that overtime. Otherwise, it wasn't going to trigger at all. So Himsey actually, uh, you know, star of the show once again with that Death Blossom. We've got Zappis in now as Tracer trying to contest. Lazy just totally surrounded. Not going to last long as Mercy. Zappis still darting 
in and out, keeping that overtime extended, but now losing their healer makes things very, very difficult. I'm just watching in a third person view for any red people coming in. Mafu ends up as both on Tracer. We actually have a third, fourth, fifth Tracer on this side of SG1. Everyone Come on, just trying to contest. Sita died, though. There's a Graviton Surge only catching Froggy, but Himzy also ends up in it and dies. And I think Melty should be able to hang on here. This is kind of the biggest argument against Zero Hero Limit as a mode, by the way, is King of the Hill Overtimes, because this is going to happen every time. Desperation, Tracers, trying to keep the points. Sita comes in and dies immediately to Moonel. Uh, it's really just a matter of killing all these Tracers, swatting the flies, and eventually letting the overtime tick down. Barrage catches Froggy and Mafu. Zappis is low, but does get a Pulse Bomb out on Moonel. There's a res bringing everyone back in. It's like whack-a-mole. It's impossible. Can I just say, Josh, you, all of a sudden 122 kills is like, yeah, right. Yeah, it makes sense yeah. now. Yeah, easy peasy. Who can't? Yeah. I mean, honestly. But here's the difference. You can kill 122 tracers. Can one tracer kill 122 people? That's the real challenge. Right yeah, there. and the other impressive stat from that was he actually had like 83 final blows too, which was pretty disgusting. <laughs> but uh, Nico dodging that pulse bomb with the Wraith Walk. But look at this. The tracers are actually overpowering. They killed oh. the healer and the tank. It's not too much of a stretch. There goes Nico. Sita's still standing on SG-1. I've literally just been in third person this whole time watching the tracers come in and out, and they flipped the what? point! You what? Guys, I should've just done this from the beginning! We missed a trick! Oh my goodness. Oh, Deegan no. and Cabal falling to that pulse bomb action. Moonel trying to get on the point. He's going to get gunned down. There's a Tracer now. Oh my god, the Tracers are coming out now for the side of Melty. They have three of their own. Deegan and Nico both coming in now. Flippy jumps in, but gets pulse bombed. Surprise, surprise, another pulse bomb. Ten, we need ten Tracers. It's going to happen. This, this might actually happen. Oh, let's break it. No, oh, the beat drop is huge. Moonel's going to jump in. Yeah, leaping through the window is the shortest path. But the Pulse Bomb is just ready every time. They're just alternating it. 75% for Zappos' ult. Overtime is ticking down, and that's it! That's a 4-0 for SG1 over Melty! What? They brought it back with five Tracers. What? They cannot be thrilled about it, but SG1 has to yeah, effing love HL0. <laughs> Nico again with the Reaper play of the game. I don't even... Joshi, that's supposed to delay the inevitable. That's not supposed to work. I, there's a reason you do it, though. There's, that's the reason you do it. The Desperation Tracer.